What's up, everybody? It's the homie True Teller, the street reporter. I got the legendary X Man Rico in here with me. One of the Yo, top bro. bloggers in Chicago. Millions of views on YouTube. Uh, thousands of subscribers. How you doing, Legend? Well, I'm good. My boy, it's a little cold, but it's, I'm uh, still living. How you feeling? I'm good, bro. I appreciate you coming back to True Teller TV, bro. Most definitely. Now, for the people who don't know what's going on, because there's new people that jump in the culture every day, you'll let them know exactly what your name is. And you know exactly what city you're from and what area you're from. Oh man, look, I'm X Men Rico. I know y'all heard what the fuck it. Y'all know what the fuck it is. What the fuck it ain't. Might spice it up a little bit, y'all. I'm from out west. Same shit from the rack. Uh, truth tell you from out, out west, ain't you? West side. You know how that get. Uh -huh. You motherfuckers don't wanna get out west the props, but <laughs> yeah. Most definitely. Now Rico, we done did this several times. We done had conversations three, four times. I kind of want to jump right into it. People have been following me, you know, I got a piece of paper in front of me, and I want to ask you some questions that, you know, you link to in the culture and things that's trending in the culture. All right, better up. I tell people this all the time. I think the best opinions come from blockers, so I kind of want to jump right into it. But before we get into these topics, Rico, a mug shot of yours went viral on the internet. Uh -huh. It say X-Men Rico was arrested. You know, not to sound police but it looked like it was gun charges. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's um, that's what they supposedly caught me with. They found yeah. it on the ground, okay. but in the vicinity. That's what they talking about. Okay, the pipe case. And then you actually had to go inside the jail, something. Yeah, that was my second go round oh. down there. Shit, I had to dress in at first, okay. but shit, my girl came through, put the okay. bond out. Uh -huh. As soon as I put the clothes on, they hair it, take it out. Okay, I took that shit off. But that's my second go round. The first one I caught a little blow case a couple years ago. So they talking about. Class three, I don't know. We're going to get to the bottom of this shit, but it's looking hopeful, man. It's looking hopeful. Oh, so you say it's looking hopeful, though. That's how I, you always got to be optimistic, man, because look, I get to court. They're talking about some six, anything like that. You just got to take it on the chin, but I'm being hopeful with it being my first pipe case, <laughs> <laughs> even though I'm a felon already, that they, they have to be had some leniency on your boy. Right. You know, questions I want to ask you, though. Did you have any, you know... Thoughts of how it's gonna be when you're walking there since you speak on a lot of what's going on in the street. <laughs> was that on your mind? Hey, this is funny. I'm gonna bring this up. This is a story. Uh, I gotta bring this up one time. So, you know, when Butter got booked and he bailed out the last time. Okay. He was booked and he was, my homie was in there, JT. Okay. And we paid his bond. Me, my girl, my homies and shit. We paid my homie bond. So he called me. Hey, man, I'm in this bitch with Butter. This is right, <laughs> this is right after I interviewed him. Okay. And the little, the little interview I did with his ass to, uh, right. Stream yard or whatever. I seen it. Yeah. And uh, so he and that bitch, he, hey, Rico, you do the three-way for me? Put him online with his pops and shit. I ain't going to speak on what they spoke about. Oh, you know, that's but, crazy. But yeah, he told me, he was like, yeah, man, the guys in this bitch saying they seen your interview, watch, bam. And then because they was telling me about the shit, it was just hot. So when I get booked, I'm like, damn, you know, it's probably a motherfucker out here who don't like me. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. And they might be in this motherfucker. <laughs> so I'm just like, it, it is what it is. But my first night, when I spent the night on Harrison Kids, Nigga walked in from the same hood I'm from. I'm, so hey, that made me a little fit. That made me feel a little better. Right. But shit, when I got there, coach, hey, I ain't gonna lie. One nigga recognized me and it led to a little chain reaction to other people. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. So it was, it was love. It was love. No aggressiveness and shit like that. No, nah, it was low key. It ain't like that. It's like, it kind of give you like high school vibes mm -hmm. and shit. And to, but you, you think, unless, depending on what your charge is. But niggas in those was some shit, boy. Nigga, man. Niggas had ghost guns. One nigga was got a habitual, <laughs> arm, habitual, and he was cool. Right. He was cool. Everybody in that bitch is cool, but it's just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's asking, like, you, hey, you think the motherfucker gonna let me out this bitch? This is what I got. This is what I got. <laughs> I'm like, man, Joe, I can't even be your, your PD right now. I'm trying to figure out what they gonna do with me. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. But I ain't gonna lie, though. I, speaking on the last thing, I wanna touch on that. I, I just wanna say this, though, because we, we is bloggers, like you said. Everybody not gonna like what we doing. And shit, so that was most definitely on my mind. Right. You know, I was wondering what you're going to be targeting and shit because you're a blogger, you know. <laughs> People said that in your comment section. They said they're going to jump on this top. I seen this. They said they're going to fuck them up. I'm just, I already bonded out. I'm reading it. You know? <laughs> they crazy in the motherfucker. Right. You know, while we talking about bloggers, that's the perfect, you know, segue into my next question. I want to know something from your opinion, if you can be honest. Do you feel like bloggers are being disrespected? Because I keep cutting on the internet and I keep hearing this bloggers, the police, they causing violence in the neighborhoods. You know, how do you feel about hearing them comments? I mean, on one hand, you got to be honest. 
this is the selfish way to think of it. And I tell myself this shit all the time, especially when I first started. I'm okay. like, if I don't do it, another motherfucker gonna do it. <laughs> and they're gonna be from out of town. They're gonna be a motherfucker who ain't experienced nothing that you can relate to, and y'all gonna eat it up. But when a, a real nigga try to do it, and that's all he will out the bam. And so when you literally look at everything that we're doing and what we're talking about, it's glorifying a negative aspect of a rapper life that they probably want to replace with music. Right. So you got, I, I always understand that. So I feel like you, it's the approach you take. It's people out here who do shit for shock value, and they know my motherfucker ain't going to never touch them. They ain't going to never touch them. But me, I have a 773 area code. So my approach right. is, is very, I try to be a little humorous. And I'm an asshole by nature, true. I ain't gonna hide it from you, but so it, it is what it is. Some people might get offended, but I try to, you know, keep it a little PG and respectful, most definitely. But people is gonna blame bloggers because everything we talk about is more evidence. It's leading a paper trail. They, that's what mm -hmm. they're gonna say. It, okay, your case, your video ain't solved the case, but if the police look into it and your shit, 100,000 views, that's how they're gonna say. So it's, I don't really see it though. I, unless you a motherfucker like Chicago scene idiot, that's his lane. I'm reporting no shit that's out there, and you know. So Chicago eighty eight, Chicago scene eighty eight. In your opinion, ah, is that policing? Uh, oh shit! Because I speak with him now on social media. I do speak with Chicago scene eighty eight, so I want to be honest with him. Did you see the Pharaoh video? I seen it. It got took down. Did it look policing? <laughs> Yeah, so that's how my, my take, It was though. a man's And that's my take. Sometimes you got to be careful with that shit. And that's when they put us all in a bunch. Uh, if he did it, Rico would do it. And Truth would do it. Do it's every, a dangerous club, guys. Everybody, because he's the top of the, the blogging list. So it just looked like that's what we all about. Right. I'm not solving shit. Right. But I am yeah. watching those videos. Right. Yeah, and that's why I allegedly caught the pipe case. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's shit, that's shit, man. That shit's serious, and I can't legally carry because uh -huh. I'm a felon. Okay, uh -huh. I couldn't legally carry if I wanted to, because okay. uh, I'm a felon. But that don't mean I might have got that motherfucker, and I'm John Wick, trying to get everybody who done done me wrong and shit. Got a list of motherfuckers I'm finna avenge. No, I'm still treating this motherfucker like it's legal, because I'm just trying to, I'm on the defense right now. But you most definitely got to move any type of fame. I was when I just did the video about I was telling you about rack snacks. Mm -hmm. When I, I went to Uncle Remus on Forty Seven. Oh, Uncle Remus! I ain't never been to the one out south. Okay, I'm from my west. That shit, that that saucy shit. That that's our west. I love that. So I want to see if they have that <laughs> out there. I went there, do it while past his first smiling. My girls all like, and he look like he a little Mexican game bag ass nigga. I was like, nah, I ain't get the vibes from him shit. So we go back. She she in the car. We wait on the food. I'll go in and get the food. She, do I need to come now? I go in there. Uh, as soon as I walk in, he, hey, you, you ex Mary Rico? I said, yeah, huh? This is our first reaction. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, what? I was like, what you say? Right. I asked him, what you say? Even though I heard him. Right. And he, you ex Mary Rico? I said, yeah. And he said, I just want to let you know, bro, I'll fuck with you. Right. And I was like, I'll fuck with you. You should put me up on Instagram. Yeah, this is you. I'll fuck <laughs> with you. I was like, hey, I appreciate it. What's your name? He's like, Todd. Right. I meant to shout him out in that video, but Todd from 47. Like that Uncle Remus. What's up, my boy? How you feeling? Look at that. But no, we get real shit. That shit, that shit could have went left. That don't, yeah. Todd, Todd could not like the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. See me, thought he go this little blogging ass nigga right here. Mm -hmm. And it would, my bond would have got revoked. <laughs> That's yeah. how it would have been. Mm -hmm. Some shit like that, and it would just would have been ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. I say that a lot of people don't know. You know, they it, they make it a lot of hard on and dangerous on bloggers now. You know, I be seeing a lot of death wishing. People be wishing death on me and shit and all kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't understand, man. You know, I got kids, all kind of shit. I, I never understood that, but you know, I think people tired of the violence, so anything mm -hmm. that shows violence, so I understand it. You know, but well, that's why the, that shit out. Now. That's why I got the food. I'm right. trying, like, I'm tired of talking about death and shit all the time. Right. I feel like it's following me a little bit. Right. That death shit get on your way on you, don't it? It don't. It, I don't feel like guilty by talking about the shit like damn. Right. But when the motherfuckers die, and I think about it, like that, could just be me. Right. These motherfuckers, and then I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of raw truth how we got clout off just talking. Like, motherfuckers <laughs> asked me for a picture. And my right. homie was like, no, you don't do shit but talk. Right. He was like, imagine if you rap. I'm like, I know that shit raw. I'm like, it's raw, but it's, it's iffy. <laughs> if these rappers would get smoked, we can too. Right. That's what I think about it. It's right. damn near, I'm damn near like a, a local rapper, a local unsigned rapper. That's how I be sometimes. Facts. No, that's, that's the honest truth. But I feel like I gained enough respect. The WGC, I throw these events. Nobody's inviting bloggers. And 
I be seeing this shit and it, it just have my mind. Like, I see the big gym. They invite all these artists. And I'm like, you know, bloggers speak for the culture in Chicago too. You gotta have them at the big gym too, man. You know? Yeah, true. It gotta be the big ones though. It gotta right. be. Because, you know, motherfuckers like, well, you get like a, just off talking, you get a hundred thousand subs. Right. That'd be right. Like you most definitely should be there. I think. But then there's a lot from the bro. city. Right. I think me. I think you. I think you know. Even trenches news. You know, trenches <laughs> on TV. It's a lot of platforms that you know help these artists. True. You know whether we like them or not. But uh, Lil Zay or something. First thing came to your head when you seen news trending about him. Again. Crash dummy. Yeah. I said, you fucking goofy. I, matter of fact, no, I didn't. The first words that came out of my mouth, I said, damn, Zay. Then I said that back. I was making I was making a video. I said, damn, Zay. Because I know he just, he on bond for the switch. Right. And then the shit happened with the watches. And I already thought he was a little stupid for signing the OTF. But I think okay, it's a why you picture, think that? Man. Because he had the clout. Like, his, he got hits. Lil Zay Osama got hits, man. Damn. And he, he, he had a wave. I just felt like he didn't have a natural fan base that be like, man, when that Lil Zay drop it. It's people that's checking for him, or they get caught to it. But that's why he needed that OTF, uh, that OTF co signing because I don't think he really had like a co like a co fan base. Same with Cowboy. I get they, exactly what you mean. Yeah, they talented, but it's just motherfuckers checking for him, but it ain't they ain't thirsty for it. Right. Even it's like something else he needed. I get yeah. exactly what you mean. So do you think that was a bad move? Signing the OTF, I think he did it for another advance. Another that's advance. what I keep on pushing because. Why do? Why else do it? That's what you get when you sign a deal. Another right. advance. They ain't, you better not be signing for free. <laughs> right. And so you already signed the Warner Brothers. They said that on the news report. Oh, so he did have deals. Yeah, with Warner okay. Brother Records already. He was already signing them. He already sang about it. Remember that shit? Label shelf me. Whatever the fuck. Right, facts, facts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He already sang about that shit. And so he. I feel like with him not having that fan base, and then you see how these rappers live. He buying shit that I could never afford right now. Mm -hmm. And you, that shit catching up to him when you ain't got no radio hits. I have him off the streams gonna add up, but I think he need another advance. And he wanted that dirt cosign. Mm -hmm. Everybody from the rack like they used to want the Chief Keef uh, cosign. They want dirt. So a dirt cosign is important. Yeah, that's like remember how everybody wanted the Drake shit for mainstream success. Right. Now it's kind of slowly turning into that dirt. That dirt. Or even mainstream level. So imagine how it is in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Why you think Nook wanted OTF Vernie to be his? Vernie Daddy, Big Vernie. Right. Is Nook manager. Why you think he wanted that? Twin. For the dirt coat, for the dirt attachments. And he probably played that. Oh. That's how he probably came in Nook like, man, I can look here, right. brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Florida shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. You don't know, hit him with the I got dirt. I got this. we got this over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you got going on, man, but I already know, man, with that Chicago that shot town player shit. I know that's what he hit Nook with. Right. Oh, hit young blood with that smooth talk shit. It, it, dirt top five. In the world, or still just Chicago, or have he jumped into the major top five and major? Right, if right now it's hot. I think he top ten. Top ten, yeah, top oh, five is a push. Okay, so top five because it's a, it's that's that's a big thing right now. But I think Dirk top ten. Okay, so he, he might be top five. Team. Okay, so I he just, jumped close. Yeah, because like, what would you put in this? Baby Drake, shit. I don't know, let me see. Baby Drake, Future. Okay. Uh, you, you what you got? Uh, I just named them. And then, uh, who else? Who else got some big shit? Baby Drake, Future, shit. He's starting to creep in right around that. That's what I was, I was, I was like, damn. Who else? Like Money Bag, yo, now. Money. This shit so repetitive to me. I don't listen to him no more. But <laughs> I don't know if he still got that that top. But Gotti got that label. Let me think who right. Gotti got over there, man. Because Gotti got some shit. No, that's true. I, I, I don't know. He might be him. top five, but I'll put him top ten. If I could think of everybody right now, if I had the time to sit here and waste on thinking about mainstream rappers, I'd do it. But I think they're top 10. You know, last time we talked, you know, news happened with Takeoff now. Quavo, Takeoff shot and killed in Houston. Yeah, yeah. You know, now all of a sudden, they send DJ Pat, the guy who they accused him to do it. Somehow, you know, he needed 5000 for a private investigation. And investigated and somehow he woke up in the morning and somebody paid a million dollars for him to get out of jail. I seen that shit. Thoughts to your man. First thing come to your man. Should should, you know, be more cooperation with this to let the streets handle that. Cause you know, I, I hear the police say Quavo now cooperate. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. And it's all about your values, your morals, and what you stand for. My parents raised me on never snitching. 
My mama mm-hmm. wanted to snitch. My daddy wanted to snitch. Mm-hmm. And they did time. At the same time. <laughs> I don't know. <fuck>. And so, <laughs> and so and seriously, I, I remember being a kid, the shit that's instilled in you when you were a kid, mama always say, never snitch. You learn that with your friends. You get caught stunning out the stove. Or you get caught in school. You know, shit like that. You don't, certain thing, you know what I'm saying? You just, you don't want to be a tattletale. And that shit, depending on how you, how you move throughout life, it's like, if somebody hurts your loved one, you're going to call the police and slide. Ah. I'll be in the more mindset of slide. <laughs> right. Seriously. Nah, I feel you. Man. Seriously, man. You know, I ain't never called the police for shit that never happened to me. You know, mm-hmm. it's just how it go. You don't want to be involved with them. Like, when you driving down the street, you see them, you straighten up a little bit, your stomach's turning. <laughs> Damn, you only really got shit in the car. You just don't want to be bothered. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. Have you tried the wrap snacks? Have you tried all the flavors of wrap snacks? <laughs> I got a dab of ranch now. I want you to try this dab of ranch on the camera. I, oh man, I want you to that. tell the fans who ain't never tried these bands because these are skills. I noticed the rap snacks ain't everywhere. It ain't been places out of there that don't got rap snacks. Man, man, got the Dirks. I mean, I don't like. Do you know you ever tried Dirks? I tried all of them, bro. Dirk shit tastes like. Remember them off brand high crunchy girls? Like Family Dollar shit. Yeah, they do. I'm not gonna lie. They got the Dollar Tree taste to them. They most definitely do. I ain't gonna lie. The Dirks ones, they kind of a little hit me a little bit. I ain't never tried them. <laughs> Okay, okay, before you open them, though, how you see, like the packaging? Well, we got munchies. You so? How you like the packaging? What do you know? Is there anything dope with the packaging, on the packaging? Somebody told me that 250 for them is too much. They used to be, how much they used to be? Baby? We, we was fucking them up. <laughs> <laughs> we was fucking them up. Like, when they first came out, I got to say that right now, 2017. Right. I was, I remember being on the CTA everywhere with a bag of these. Uh-huh. And an extra high flame hots. But... First thing I notice when I look on this bag, man, when well, the first thing I notice is your boy Takeoff, especially after the everything thing that happened. Uh, that's crazy, man. Somebody who's been murdered is on the bag of chips, bro. And I'm looking at him, and, I'm, and this, if you look at the bag, yeah. y'all don't know, this This time right here is nostalgic. Right. This 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 hairstyle outside got on? Hits came out them ponytails, folks. Uh. Like, I remember what these dreads right here with Quavo had. Uh. That shit with the glasses, with the three amigos on the chain, folks. This just take me back to memories of a lot of bangers, man. Hey, uh, set what, what the whole what was that? Culture two? Then they dropped that. I think so. They dropped this to promote culture two, and I can tell you right then, it was at that time when the when the shit dropped. I came across a nice little amount of money, not as much as I came across it now recently, but then to be fucked up and have some money, so I was bumping the culture two, needs <laughs> spending money. Uh-huh. And that's the first thing I noticed on this motherfucker. Take and the memories. That's yeah, that's crazy it. that I'll say. Every time I look at that bag, I say, that's crazy. Take off on that bag. Yep. That's crazy. When you taste them, I want you to tell me exactly what come to your mind when you taste them. Uh, is those cheap tasting? You know, would you buy them again? Okay, I can bust them down right now. Most definitely. And yours too. You can keep that bag. That's no bad. I wouldn't get them back, too. <laughs> I want to know exactly coming to your mind when you taste them. A lot of people ain't never had them. Man, when you eat these, see, I'm the type of nigga, man, when I eat flaming Hots, I, I, I crunch them up, not to the dust, but so I can have extra in the bag. <laughs> now, so, is that a, a lay, or is that like a regular chip, a ruffle? I said, this is a lay. This okay. give me lay vibes. Okay. You know, sour cream, onion type shit. Okay. That's the look of it. But when I eat these, I double them up. <laughs> I, I, I double them up, but sometimes, before right now, I'm... Biggest chip, go single stack. Still cheap tasting. You know, you had a lot of time to settle in and eat them now. Do they taste like the ones bitten us? Are them Cheetos and them still give you the flaming hot? I mean, the still family dollar bag. Hey, these ain't the same, truth. <laughs> <laughs> truth. What they did to the chip? They put the extra salt in them, huh? No, they took away the dab. Oh, kept they the ranch. The they took the dab and kept the ranch, man. Okay. Um, Ain't too much sauce on them, joint. Um, I don't wait. No, no, wait. I don't, I don't think that chip had enough sauce. <laughs> I'm going to hold this one to the side. I'm going to come back for him. I'm going to grab Big Boy. Now, do you eat that one? I want to know, Rico. Is that, is that a real chip or is that they just gave us a dollar bag and making money off? I feel like this shit comes from the same factory as Lay's, Jay's, and other potato made potato chips. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I feel like. But okay. the only thing is, 
Well, the difference is they took their time to construct something. And when I say they constructed something, it's just whatever they put that ranch, you don't say it on here, sour cream. Oh, that, I never had it. <laughs> I don't eat ranch on okay. shit, really, maybe some hot wings. And shit, sour cream, I eat them by themselves. So when you mix the two, I never had it before. They fucked the game up with this, man. Now, if you was in a grocery store and you was in a gas station, mm -hmm. would you buy them again or you will pass them? Ooh, that one was a little salty. They got all different types of shit going on. But since you put me back on to them, I probably still won't buy them. Okay. But I, I can tell you the one thing, I bought them out. Okay. That's all true. Okay. We the fuck matter of fact, I'm busting down you or something. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Another thing I want to know though about them chips, last thing I want to know. You didn't answer me when I asked you that. It's oh. 250 too much for them chips. After you tasted them. Yeah. Are too much. I'll say good one one fifty. Okay, one fifty. The sale price at the top. We know how to say nine ninety nine. Right. But then yeah, that's what it did. Maybe I did even at a discount. Okay. Two for two for one fifty type shit. Two for two. Okay. At two fifty, you should get another bag. Okay. If you was to go home and see the email from Rap Snacks, mm -hmm. and they say Rico, we want to give you your bag of chips. What's the flavor? Mm -hmm. I asked Big Wani. He said he'll make a Wani barbecue. Mm, I, I like that, but I gotta go flame hot because you know okay, how I fuck the flame hot. But I gotta, <laughs> I gotta throw another twist with it because okay. I, ain't, I ain't never did this. Hot chili cheese. Hot chili cheese. I don't think nobody ever did that. I don't know how to taste though. Hot chili cheese. I, I gotta try it just okay. to try it because you okay. know barbecue. Hey, Wani, I fucks with you, but that, <laughs> you can't just go playing barbecue. You gotta mix it. <laughs> you gotta be asked it him up. what kind of barbecue he said instead of honey one eat. <laughs> 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 one barbecue, I'll fuck with that. I'll say I get okay, I'll feel him on that. I feel I feel <laughs> So you see a flaming hot. A Rico flaming hot joint. And so you know with some chili on that joint. Uh, uh let me see. Let me see. Yeah, some shit. Let me see. I, shit, I don't even know because the chili sounds like nasty. But I got to go to the, throw them the spot. I'm going to say Flame of Hots. But it, no, because I'll I be watching the food videos, right? <laughs> the hot, spicy shit always going to go with something sweet. Right. It always going to go with something sweet. Baby, mild. Mmm. Mm. Uh, extra hot. Throw the, we going to find a way to put mouth sauce on that shit. Uh -huh. But we ain't going to drown it. We going to keep Chicago it. Chicago style. Yeah, but we ain't going to put the... The actual sauce on that, but you know how to chip for one. A mild sauce flavor on it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, might do the extra hot. It got to be extra hot, though, for the X. I don't know. You got to put the X in that bitch some type of way. Most definitely. I got three more questions, Rico. Mail them up. Last one of the last three I want to ask you is, what came to your mind when you seen a picture go viral all over social media of a female rapper named Avina Money standing on... Superstar drill rapper King Von Memorial. Do you think that went too far or everything fair games if y'all beat me? First thing I said, honestly, I was like, how the fuck she get to Atlanta and find that shit? That's what I was like. I was like, damn, I thought he was in Atlanta. But it turned out, I guess, like you said, it's a memorial. I believe it's like a memorial. Something. It's in the rack somewhere, right? Yeah. And so that when, I, when I figured that shit out, I, when I heard that, I was like, man, you know, I, was, I guess, I don't want to say fair game, but it's like, you see it so much. Remember the shit with Tiller? Yeah, Rich Way. And they was shitting on dude, right. on dude things, so it's going to happen, but I just didn't get her point. What's your point of doing it? You know, if you don't see Driller, none of the other main people doing it, why are you doing it? What they say, kids? Clout. <laughs> Clout. And, you know, I don't know Avina. You know, I ain't never had no relationship with her. I ain't talking bad, damn, damn bad on her, but... It got to be for clout. Because like, I get you related to him and shit like that. But just like, what's the purpose of it? What's the purpose of it? There's different ways to get revenge. And it was just for that clout. And that clout, motherfuckers, are, I die for that clout. Mm -hmm. That did look a little dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on where it's at. It's probably in like the birds. Someone mm -hmm. put up. And then somebody, I don't know how they got. How people begin these locations and shit. Uh, Dick Gray sites. Yeah, that'd be crazy though. But when you see that, do you think... Everybody don't take that personal. Some people say, man, that's just for the internet. Or do something like that. People store that in their head and remember that kind of shit. Uh-huh. How they do? 
Yeah, oh, just asking me. I say doing shit like that, going to grave sites and stuff like yeah. that. Do some people look at that as man? That's just for the internet. They doing some hit some internet shit. Or do some people start it in their mouth to get at you type of shit? I feel like it'll make motherfuckers want to test your waters. Yeah. Like you doing that the dead motherfucker. Do it to somebody lying. I go, uh, but well, her, in her case, I think they just brush it off. Right. I think they just brush that shit to the side. I don't think too many people. Lil Mo said something about it. Yeah. Like you shouldn't have did this. You shouldn't have did that. Mm -hmm. So. You know, she 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 know she know why she did it, but that internet shit that I'll tie back to the cloud. Right. How do you feel about Clubhouse? People always ask me, "True, go to Clubhouse." I tell them I'm scared as hell of Clubhouse. <laughs> I'm afraid of Clubhouse. I know soon I get on there, they all gonna attack me. I'm just afraid of going on Clubhouse because when you get on Clubhouse, I'm used to videos. You know, when the camera come on. You know, you perform. You know what you're doing that camera on. Yeah. Clubhouse, a phone on your ear, ain't no camera. You might fuck around and say something real on there. You, know? <laughs> you ain't lying. And the reason I say that, because we didn't call several conversations on Clubhouse. Recently, we called No Limit Cairo, mm -hmm. Lil Barney, mm -hmm. in a conversation that didn't seem very friendly. Yeah, at you all. Know? Then we called Memo, Lil Zay Osama, yeah. Gargren on Clubhouse. What do you think about Clubhouse? Are you on Clubhouse? You know what's crazy? A fan reached out to me about a year ago. The nigga was all like, man, you need to get on Clubhouse. I was right. like, I don't know how to make that shit. Because I don't <laughs> got a Snapchat. I don't, I don't like all the extra right. apps and social medias and shit. For one, take up too much space. Mm -hmm. But so he, a nigga made me one, but I never used it. Okay. And I feel like, honestly, the way that shit go, Mimo should get a, a check from their ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he hit me on that motherfucker, bringing people there just to inter interact with him. Yeah. He low key. It's kind of a bad thing too. It's kind of like when a rapper get a, a girlfriend and they start promoting her more than music. It's like that he entertaining beefs and shit more than he dropping hot music instead of doing both at the same time. Oh, I get what you're saying. Cause Memo been trending lately. How did you feel when you seen that arrest video? A lot of people said he kept it solid in there. I see Wack 100 try to say, I don't know about all that. How did you feel when you seen that video? I don't think too much of it because that's what we all, that's what we all supposed to do. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. Now, how I get my motherfucker rest video? That motherfucker was like, that is bitch is solid. <laughs> but it was no, it's a real shit. When I seen it, I was just that's what you supposed to do. Right. That's what you supposed to do. The common motherfucker ain't gonna be as soon as they get thrown in the back and they come. You for one, they, they got you sitting up for hours. Right. They just got you. You waiting on the motherfucker come back and tell you what's the next move. <laughs> <laughs> so when they come back there, they we gonna be easy rice, whatever we gonna do. You just like man, look. I don't know nothing. I ain't seen nothing. Mm -hmm. He did the, the the normal. I don't even want to say Chicago nigga shit. That's mm -hmm. worldwide street nigga shit. Mm -hmm. no, I get it. I get it. Uh, what you got new coming out, Rico? Anything that people can look forward to? I heard you say something about the rack and what again? So, yeah. It's the, you know, it's that shot rack. Take the shot off. Put that okay. in your pocket. Keep the rack okay. and put the snacks. Rack snacks. Just like you talking about rap snacks. Oh, rack snack. I rack. like that name. Okay. Yeah, rack snack. Rack snack. And it ain't going to okay. be too much chips and shit like that. But I'm going to be going to all these food spots. Because remember, I used to do ride throughs. Ride throughs, yeah. And I used to put every neighborhood food, every neighborhood I go to, I throw the food in there. And people always comment more about the food a lot. Right. And they're like, man, Joe, we need you to do more food videos on here without the band. And so while me and YouTube in the tug of war right now, I said, man, what can I do too just to be more creative? So I said, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this, this food shit again, just to be more positive. Cause I'm tired. I only get on, yo, this motherfucker just died, man. It's sad. She's like, Y'all condolences. Be tired of that shit. So I'm like, let me see if I could create something off positivity. Cause that's how the channel originally started. So I got rack snacks right now, and I'm finna find a way. I don't know how I'm gonna do it now. We gonna keep the rack, right? Maybe how you put the shower in your pocket. We still got the rack. And I'm put rack facts, and I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna do that. That's another channel oh, I'm gonna make. Right, so you gonna branch off on them brands? And yeah, I'm gonna keep them, keep them set to the side. And I'm just trying right now. I'm, I'm just thinking. I'm trying to stay because I should have been did it. Yeah, that's dope, bro. I should have been did it because there's been a lot of different times where the channel just kept blowing up, blowing up, blowing up, and I'm just marinating with that, thinking of the next move instead of branching out. Right. No, I think that's smart. Um, most definitely. You know, a lot of people ask me about can people contact bloggers and get blogs about them. Are you willing to work for other artists? Can artists call you up and get you up and get some work from you? Oh hell yeah! All okay. the time, I'm always in communication with somebody. Okay. Uh, even if they sometimes they be having a little importance and shit, I'm just gonna put it all out. But everything X Man Rico, the Instagram, the Facebook. No, in the YouTube. That's all I got. I don't got no extra social media. YouTube people, channel, X-Man Rico, no spaces. No space. Okay. Yeah, no, it's spaces. But okay. I think both of them will pop up. Okay. 
You know, the rack snacks. Don't forget that. Rack facts ain't a thing yet. I'm okay. thinking about the first video once I come out. Oh, so you got the other, you got the video on another YouTube channel? Yeah, on the rack snacks. Oh, that's dope. Okay, I thought she was just saying rack snacks is the video, so the YouTube channel is rack snacks too. Yeah. And y'all got snacks. subscribed to that. Okay, I was asleep. I didn't get it. Yeah, I got it on my community tab. Okay. And I, I got the next video planned. I can't wait to drop it, man. Okay. Y'all ain't never heard of I don't even want to say the restaurant spots, but I got some spots, man. Okay. When are we going to get the next video? You don't know when you're going to be ready to give us that? Uh, I don't know right now because I just a lot of shit going on. You know, I was in the car crash oh, okay. on Lakeshore Drive. I was in a bad one, so I just okay. had to buy a new car. And so I'm in the middle of just getting everything back in order, right. you know. They're going through shit, huh? Man, this seems like every time something get good, mm. it get bad. Most but definitely. Yeah. Give an upcoming blogger some advice in this shit, man. You know, a blogger want to jump in this shit today. They ain't never blogged a day in their life, but they made a decision today. They want to jump in the game. They ran into X Men Rico. What advice would you tell them? If you got any type of goofiness to you, whatever you you, you is, like honestly, and I, I don't even want to say this shit to be blunt, but I'm just looking at shit, and I can say a couple people names. It's just like you know the po poetic Flacco guy. Poetic Flacco. So not I just want y'all to I want y'all to not take away the name and remember the the, the images shit like that. It's people out here. Who he true to himself. He know he poetic Flacco. He from wherever he from. He not trying to be a thug. But it's people out here who really. Got the mindset of him, but get on YouTube and be like, oh, since they don't know my real life, I'm gonna get on here and be a guy. Oh man, Joe, my city people real respect me instead of just being yourself. Right. So I say, be yourself. I don't give a fuck if you're talking about other people, just be yourself. If you're a funny guy, show that. Don't be so serious with this. A lot of people get on the internet and they so serious. They treat this shit like it's another personality. Like it's they like people still don't laugh for five hours. <laughs> For six hours and shit, that ain't no way in hell you're supposed to have that much time on your hands. It's a grown man, bro. So just, you really got to get on this bitch and be yourself. Facts. I totally agree with you, man. I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you, Rico. Shit, no problem, my boy. Anytime, you feel? Uh.